Hi, I'm Jan Vesser, and today we're going to teach you something about SMD soldering. What we are going to do is put these three resistors on it and put this microcontroller on it. We'll show you how. Okay, first thing we need is this nice thing. It's a gun to apply soldering paste on your PCB. So what we are going to do, first we're going to do the resistors. Going to apply some soldering paste on this path. Squeeze it gently, not too much, like this. Notice I'm only applying a small bit of soldering paste on the island and the heat will do the rest. Okay, now it's time to put some soldering paste on the islands of the controller. Okay, what we're going to do now is apply the resistors and the microcontroller. First we'll take the resistors. Let's take three out. Yes, that's enough. And as you can see, they have a white side and a black side. The value is written on the black side. So this is the white side. We'll turn them over. Okay. First we're going to put on the resistors. Like this. And then I'm going to take the microcontroller. Make sure the dot is in the right direction. The dot is here. I'm going to pick this up. Oops, yep, it's a bit sticky. If it's not in the right position yet, just take your tweezers and put it in the right position. Make sure it's aligned. Correctly aligned. Okay. And if it is correctly aligned, we can apply some heat to it. For that, we have here a hot air gun. I'm going to put it on. And on this side, you can adjust the heat. So we'll push it gently up to. 300 degrees Celsius. Yeah. And here we can adjust the airflow. To adjust the airflow, we can just this is down, this is up. Don't apply too much airflow because you're going to uh, blow away the components. 
Okay, it's heating now. And when it reaches 300 degrees, you can start heating up the resistors at first. If you blow them from the side, you'll blow them away. So try to give it a little less airflow. And we're heating the islands and the PCB and the component, of course. There's a lot more heat going into the PCB as in, uh, into the component. And if you see the color changing, then that means it's ready. You'll see this one's color is changing. Maybe you can see now, here the color is changing from dark gray to light and that means that solar base is hot enough. If you've gone completely around it, just pull it away. And as you can see, there's slightly solder paste on here, it's not thick. So that's okay. That's how easy it is. Just try it at your home.